Hey everybody, welcome to the NSDA. My name is Dwayne Bleh, and today we're gonna to take a look at some advanced wall play on how to bump the puck into good spots. If you ever hear the term wall play, what does that mean? That means anything along the boards. So any kind of play along the boards, whether it's puck coming around on a rim, making a pass off the board, but anything on the wall is huge, and you're seeing that as always a big part of the game, but now it's even more important to be good at wall play. And today we're gonna to touch on is picking up pucks and putting them in good spots. So basically getting a puck off the boards off a rim or a cycle, and instead of getting it stuck on the wall, which a lot of us do, so we end up getting the puck, we're stuck here, and then we gotta take it off and make a play, which takes too much time. Now I'm making quick little touches so we get pucks in areas here where we can make a pass or on our backhand side. So if I tap here, I get it here and I can make a quick play. So number one thing, if I'm coming in to get a puck off a rim, so let's say I'm gonna get a rim here in this drill. It's a simple, simple drill, but I'm coming in to get a rim, just practicing this. Number one thing I wanna do is shoulder check. So as I come in, I'm gonna survey, look around, and then as that puck comes in, go ahead, cut. As that puck comes in, if I'm gonna top my backhand, I'm gonna to top it, pop it, and then right away I can make a pass out with it. So I just wanna to try to get it off the boards and then make that pass. Now the big thing here is just getting repetition. When players first start doing this, it's hard, but once they get comfortable with it, it's a much easier. So a couple big things are keeping our top hand up. So now when I come in, my toe's not off the ice. So keeping that top hand up here and keep my blade cupped and not too far away. So if my stick's here, now I'm gonna end up pop my puck here, which you could do, but ideally we're gonna go backhand to backhand, which means I'm gonna top off my backhand and then move it with my backhand here. So again, if I get a rim here, my blade's copped, I'm on the yellow, and I can pop that puck off. So as that puck comes in here, my blade's on the yellow, I come in, I stab at it. So I get on the yellow here, top hand's up, now I can pop that puck off. Go ahead, Kevin, we'll do another one. So again, this is backhand to backhand. So as the puck comes in, I can top it here, top, and then make my pass out for the shot. If I'm gonna go backhand to forehand, so same idea, puck would come around. Now I'm gonna top off my backhand. I'm gonna top backhand to forehand and then make our pass out. Again, as a righty, it would be the same thing, opposite sides, I'd have my forehand, I'd top forehand here to forehand, or I would top forehand to backhand on that side. When we're talking about wall play, right, the easy play on, in, in a wall play anywhere on the ice is just to shovel the puck back. So if I get a pass down the boards here, the easy play for any player is puck comes down and all I do is get it and just hit it back down the wall, right? If we have time on, on, on wall play and I look around, I shoulder check and get my puck, now I can turn here, pop, now I can make a play, right? Which is again, is easy because I have time and space. The hard play is making that play quick. And that's what we want to work on today. So getting that puck off the wall and then right away making that play. So again, puck's coming, I shoulder check see where my guy is, I top it quick and then right away make a pass off it. If I'm gonna go backhand to forehand, same idea, I'm looking, puck comes in, I'm checking, I know where my guy is up top, I top quick, and then right, right away make my pass. So making quick little plays off the wall, but getting pucks in areas where you can make that play. Now the progression of this would be adding pressure. So if I had Max come in here, so for any coach that's running a drill like this, where you're just getting players to work on it, so if you can see our setup here, super simple, but we've got Kevin over there with pucks who's just rimming him, so that could be a player in line or a coach and then myself just making a little play and our shooter would be up top, right? So if Max was the shooter, let's say Max will slide up there. So Max would be my shooter. So the, the drill's super simple, but the puck would come down around the wall. I'm the player getting it, so I'm looking around, go ahead. I would get it here, top, make my play, move it, and then we got our shooter here for the shot. All right now we're gonna add pressure to this. So what we'll do here is we're gonna have Max give me pressure, so we'll start at the bottom of the circle. Kevin's gonna be my teammate. So Kevin's gonna dump it in, and then right after he dumps it in, he's gonna go into an area, in a soft area we call it, so basically an open area on the ice. And the most common open areas on the ice is gonna be up in this top area right here if the puck's in the corner, usually up in here. So if we're too far over here, usually there's gonna be defenders or forwards out in this area. So we wanna, for Kevin, when he passes it, he wants to try to pop anywhere in this area here and try to get lost and not have anybody on him in order for me to get him that puck. So again, great opportunity for me as a player to shoulder check and find Kevin. Max would give me pressure with his stick and I'm gonna read where he is. So if his stick's on this side of my body as a lefty, then I would go backhand to backhand. If he comes in and he's on this side, maybe I fake, bring it across, and then try to send it out that way. All right, so we'll go through it real slow. So I'm gonna come in, I shoulder check, see where my pressure is, top, move it, and then get a quick shot on net. And this is a good opportunity too for coaches to have players add a little bit of evasiveness. So I know I've got Max coming on me. We're not, we're just practicing this technique. 
So I can come in and add a little bit of a fake to it. So I'll fake up the boards this time and come back this way. So I'd come in here, looking around, fake, tap my puck and then move it out right away. And then shot. Sick bite there, you bet good, that was good. That was solid. Ready, so puck comes in, I'd fake, tap quick, and then make my pass out. There's a ton of different ways to work on wall play. One of the things that I found effective is just breaking it down very, very simple. So getting players just to feel comfortable picking pucks up off the wall. And players often get caught, especially at the higher levels, get caught in situations where their backs to the play or they're off to the side a little bit and they get stuck on the boards. So just getting comfortable tapping that puck off the wall and making a play. And again, that technique is real simple, top hand up, keeping that blade flat on the ice and making sure that we're cupped. So if the puck's coming around the boards this way, I'm gonna tap my blade cup, pull the puck off here. If the puck's coming around on my forehand side, same thing, I'm gonna cup it, tap, and then try to make a play. And we wanna get that puck into an area where we can make a quick, strong play with the puck. So whether it's on my forehand side, or it's here on my backhand side, I can make a play with it. And the only way players are gonna get better at that is just by doing repetitions, getting comfortable with it, and continuing to work on it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for checking in.